Hey guys, welcome back to Next Gen Blogger and in this video I want to show you how you can work with Diffuse FX transition in VSCC Free Video Editor. Now, Diffuse FX is actually one of the most interesting and unique transition effect which you will come across in VSCC and it is actually super easy to apply that effect in your videos. So without further delay, let's get started and look at this transition effect. Now, as you can see, I've already imported two demo videos in the editor and my second demo video is overlapping my first demo video by one second. And so to apply the diffuse FX transition, double click on the first video and then go to video effects, go to transitions, select diffuse FX and then click on OK. Now look inside the diffuse FX settings which is present inside the properties window and we got four options inside the diffuse FX settings. So we have type, directly, transition levels and cell size. So don't make any changes inside the transition levels and the cell size option. So keep the values as they are inside these two options. Rather, we will look at the type option and the directly option. So currently the type is set to left to right. And so let me just quickly play this video for you. And so this is the diffuse FX transition happening from left hand side to the right hand side. Perfect and you got three other types as well so the first one was left to right the second is right to left so this is the diffuse fx transition happening from the right hand side to the left hand side perfect similarly we also have bottom to top so this is diffuse fx from bottom side to the top side and finally, the fourth one, which is top to bottom. So this is the diffuse FX happening from the top side to the bottom side. Perfect. So all in all, this is everything about the diffuse FX transition. But we also got this second option called directly, which is currently set to false. So. As you can see, my diffuse FX transition is right now present at this particular position, right where both my videos are overlapping. And so if you want to diffuse FX, if you want to use the diffuse FX transition at the beginning of your video, so if I just place the diffuse FX transition right at the beginning, like this, so that's when you kind of change the option from false to true inside the directly option. And now, if I just quickly play the video for you. Perfect. So this is how you can actually use the diffuse FX transition in your videos. Uh, do let me know your thoughts in the coming section below. Like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will again see you in the next video. Till then, thanks for watching.